Okay, Rob. The pace puts us in the mid-pack here. We're expecting you to finish in the top seven. 45 minutes. Hey guys, Rob here. So in this recent cockpits community race, you're going to hear the voices of Kevin Madsen of Madsen Racing, Steve Avancati, who is the current IMSA Sports Car Challenge LMP3 class leader, um, this dude who's insanely quick, Tyler, and a few other people from the recent cockpits community. Uh, I bottled this race badly. Um, enjoy. Damn it, how, do we know, like, does does iRacing, like, warm up tires on this? Like, does it actually transfer over, or not really? It does. Yes, you can warm up tires. Uh, you can also accrue uh, pickup or dirty, you know, dirty level, uh, depending on if people went off in qualifying. So, for example, like, I think coming up here on turn six, there's some dirt on the outside here on entry. Okay, so, and it takes the track from the previous session. Yeah, it does. Um, in the info or rules section, on, when you're like in the spectator area, uh, it should tell you um, like whether or not uh, conditions carry over sessions. Got it. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. Thanks for the info. Yeah, license by racing here. You're welcome. Well, there's a lot of people that don't do the warm up. Is to uh, you know what I mean? Like, whereas in real racing, if you didn't do any warming up, you'd be in bad shape. But, like, why do you see fewer people on here? Like, you know, when you're doing, like, ones online, where there's a lot of pros and stuff, why do you see fewer people on here? You know, I think it's because you can generate a lot of that heat in that in the first couple corners. And it's so easy, I think, to overdo a warm-up cycle in iRacing. Because I feel like the tires in, in this are, are more temperature sensitive than they are anything else and they flash in weird ways. Um, it's really easy to do that by micro-locking it, versus in real life, you don't really have any of that, right? It's just kind of more acclimates based on like a, a combination of pressure and temperature. So it's, you know, I think that that's maybe the difference. So people are just more concerned about higher temperature. Yeah, and also think about it as... Go, go, go! There's an incident in turn one. Hey, so as you can see right off the bat, I uh, lose the car coming around the corner to take the green flag and uh, I pounded it into a wall. So much fun. All right, Rob, the next car is Miranda, car number 22, C license, and their rating is 0.6. Between the white lines, or we'll get a penalty.
careful. Yeah, I totally did not expect Nick to break there and that hard and make that turn left on me. Um, yeah, that was completely uh, unintentional. Left side. Hold your line. Clear left. There's an incident in. Turn 11. We think it might be Casey. Yeah, looking back through this race, it's looking more like Clayton had um possibly been fighting a car that was loose in the rear. And he may have, may have lost the rear as I was trying to pass him and ultimately... Um, slid in front of me, which which basically pushed them off track, which again I, I was totally unintentional, and apparently now it just looks like I'm just going to keep no, on uh, hitting track limits on, and, track and limits. cutting the track. I don't know what's going on with me today with this race, but um, yeah, we're going to push through and we'll see where we get with it. Come there, FLMP3 runners. Sixth place.
It's up. All right, Cameron. Now you're good. You're Master cars approaching, they're scrapping for position. The class leaders in this group. A blue flag, there's an incident in. Turn four, it looks like Miranda. Right side. Still there. Clear right. A blue flag. Right side, clear right. Just done a one twenty nine flag. There's a faster class car approaching. Hey Nick, I just realized you're on here. That's awesome. Thanks for joining. Car left. Clear left. Man. Problem. Who, who is in the pink Mercedes? You got in a wreck with the the, the crew. Blue flag. Flag. Yeah, no. Hector. 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 Rob, there's a faster class car approaching. That, that lap was a 129.05. That's your best lap in this session. Well, that didn't go well. I don't even know if I have a rear wing. Come on, track limits. Anymore. What I saw. Sick. Sick. Yeah, look at how Mitchell's walking by me. I'd I'll agree go down for a straightaway setup.
Car right. Hold your line. Clear right. <laughs> yeah. Did uh, someone go landscape? Yeah, yeah, somebody just. Back in the And there's the disconnect. I'm gonna have to watch that back. That's a road. They're just running the GP3 cars. Okay, no, that, I don't think they have any GP4s, yep. or am I wrong? Well? Last lap time was a one twenty eight point seven nine. Yeah. <laughs> There's an incident in turn 10. It looks like it's Miranda. <laughs> Blue flag. There's a faster car bearing down on you. He's the class leader. Okay, Rob. Right side. Clear right. P4. Okay, Rob. The next car is two laps behind. Steven just had a save. I had a turn five. I got have both of us yelling at the top of our lung. Peace. For an extended period of time. Underwear, everything, it's higher. Fast 
car approaching. They're racing us for position. Don't expect any blue flags. in. Turn 10. We think it might be Miranda. Outside track limits. Come on, keep it between the lines. <laughs> There's faster cars approaching. The group includes the class leader. <laughs> Side, clear left. All right, Rob. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left.
Tyler, I'm going to stay right. One more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. B3. OK, Rob. There's a faster car approaching. Side. Clear on the left. Cameron, are you winning this grade? Wow. The stewards have warned us about track limits. <laughs> You're winning. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, sorry, I had to pick my rifle position. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, good stuff, guys. That was awesome. Oh, wow, there's the contact. <laughs> 
Great drive, this is Dancer Podium. In South Carolina. Alright guys, so that was the race. Uh, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and hopefully we'll see you on the next race. I also want to thank Eric from Racing Cockpits for hosting the session along with Kevin Madsen and Steve Abbott and Cotty. Um, good racing with you guys and, and listening to you guys chat during the race.